The mindset of saving overcoming obstacles to financial success. Saving money is more than just setting aside a portion of your income each month. It is a mindset. The ability to save consistently is often determined by how you think about money and how you overcome the mental and emotional barriers to saving. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eva Wong, your wealth coach on the journey to achieving early retirement. If you want to learn how to become financial savvy and to retire early, please subscribe to my channel here. Here are key aspects of developing the mindset for effective saving. Number one, shift from instant gratification to long-term security. One of the biggest challenges in saving money is the human tendency toward instant gratification. Whether it's the latest gadget, a trendy outfit or an impromptu holiday, spending often provides immediate joy whereas saving is seen as delaying enjoyment. However, shifting your mindset to focus on long-term goals such as financial independence or early retirement makes saving easier. When you realize that the short-term sacrifices lead to long-term security and financial freedom, the rewards of saving become more compelling. Number two, understand your spending triggers. Mindless spending often stems from emotional triggers, whether it's boredom, stress, or societal pressure. Start identifying what drives your spending habits. Are you an impulsive shopper when you feel down? Do you overspend to keep up with your friends? Recognizing this pattern helps you break free from unconscious habits and replace them with healthier financial behaviors. Number three, overcome the fear of missing out for more. The fear of missing out, particularly in today's social media driven world, can make it difficult to stick to a savings plan. You might see peers buying new cars, going on lavish holidays, or eating out at fancy restaurants and feel left behind. However, remember that appearances can be deceptive. Many people living a luxurious lifestyle may not actually be financially secure. Refocus your mindset on personal finance goals and understand that delaying certain purchases now will allow you to live a more comfortable life in the future. Number four, adopt a growth mindset. A fixed mindset might make you think that you will never be able to save because you've always been bad with money. Adopting a growth mindset, on the other hand, empowers you to believe that you can improve your financial situation through learning and perseverance. Each small success in saving money, whether it's skipping that unnecessary purchase or reaching your monthly savings target, will build your confidence and motivate you to continue. Number four, set clear attainable goals. It's easy to feel overwhelmed or demotivated when your savings goals are vague or too ambitious. Break down your long-term objectives into smaller, more manageable targets. For example, if your goal is to save 10,000 in two years, aim for a monthly savings goal of 416 ringgit. Setting milestones make the journey to financial success seem more achievable, boosting your motivation and commitment. Number six, be kind to yourself. Many people sabotage their savings effort when they make a mistake, like overspending during a holiday season or splurging on a luxury item. Instead of giving up, be kind to yourself and build these missteps as part of the learning process. What matters most is the ability to get back on track, not the occasionally slip ups. Developing a saving mindset requires conscious effort and a commitment to understanding your relationship with money. By shifting your focus to long-term goals, identifying and overcoming emotional triggers, and setting clear targets, you can transform your financial habits and build a strong foundation for future financial success. That's all for my sharing this time. If you find this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more informative content. And as always, if you have any question or topic that you would like me to cover in my future video, do leave me a message below. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!